<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of geometry, welcome to your last unit for geometry B. Congratulations on making it this far. Uh, this is a very short unit. Um, basically, you're talking about um, a couple different things that can happen in, um, like in life and in a graph. So we're going to start with talking about uh, reflections. So what you need to be able to do is kind of use lines of symmetry to reflect um, either in a coordinate plane or just on a picture. So let's kind of get to it. Um, so this would be a reflection. So you're starting here, going to here. This would be an example of a reflection of the x-axis. So remember, this is your x-axis, and you're going from here to here. Now, your image is what is the image after reflection. Okay, so your after your reflection that is going to be what happens. Your pre-image is your starting image, okay? So your pre-image is where you start. Your image is after the reflection, okay? So this would be your pre, and this would be your image. All right, so that's kind of what we're talking about. Now, reflection in the x-axis, y-axis, and y equals x. Um, x-axis, remember, is here. Y-axis is this one. Y equals X is this perfect diagonal right through, the, right through there. Now, take a look at what happens. Reflection in the X-axis, multiply the Y-coordinate by negative 1. Reflection in the Y-axis, multiply the X-coordinate by negative 1. So it ends up being the opposite of what you would think. Okay, It's kind of like intercept that way back in talking about linear, to figure out your x and y intercepts, you take the opposite one by zero. And then reflection in y equals x, so all you do is switch the x and y coordinates. All right, so x-axis, y-coordinate by negative one, y-axis, x-coordinate by negative one, y equals x, reflect it. So pre-image and the reflection, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to kind of help me here. So You've got negative 5, 3. That'll be right there. That's your A. 2, 0 is going to be B right there. And C, 1, 2. There is going to be your triangle. And you want to reflect it over the x-axis. Now, x-axis, remember, you take your y value and, multi and multiply it by negative 1. Okay, that's supposed to be multiplication, not an equal sign. So multiply by negative 1. So a becomes, instead of negative 5, 3, the new image is going to be negative 5, negative 3. Okay, 2, 0 for b still becomes 2, 0 because 0 times negative 1 is still 0. And then you have 1, 2, which becomes 1, negative 2. So I multiply all the y values times negative 1. So now my new image is going to be this, negative 5, negative 3. There's my new image, new A. And I mark it with a little, almost looks like an apostrophe. New B is right there, same place, because I didn't, it didn't move anywhere because it's on the x-axis. And 1, negative 2, there's my new C. So there's my new triangle. There it is reflected. Okay, and that's what it looks like over the x-axis. So graph the pre-image and the reflection. So you've got a square over, now you're trying to reflect it over the y-axis. So negative 4, 6, let's zoom, in. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see a little better. So negative 4, 6, there's j. Next point is going to be 0, 6, so that's K. L is going to be 0, 2. All right, and I'm really, really hoping that the other one's going to be negative 4, 2. Yes, it is, and there's M. There's my square. Now I'm reflecting it over the Y axis right there. So what I want to do with that is take the opposite. So I'm going to take the X value times negative 1. So if I've got negative 4, 6, I want to take the x times negative 1, so that's going to give me 4, 6. And then I'm going to have 0, 6, 
Well, multiplying 0 times negative 1 is still 0, 6. Then I have 0, 2 multiplied is still going to be 0, 2. Then I've got negative 4, 2. And if I multiply that 1 times negative 1, I'm going to get positive 4, 2. Okay, so my new shape is going to be these four points. So, 4, 6, that's going to be the new J. 0, 6 is the new K, which is really the same. And then 4, 2 is going to be M. So there's going to be my square reflected over the y-axis. So, line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is basically a line you could fold over and it would look the same, okay? So it's a line of symmetry. So it's basically, it's a line of reflection. That's kind of a good way to describe it. It's a line of reflection. So here, state whether the object appears to have line symmetry, right, yes or no. If so, draw all the lines of symmetry and state their number. So you, this is obviously yes. So basically, could I dr draw a line, fold the shape on the line, and have it match up perfectly? And the answer is that yes. I could go here, 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 here. Oop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven lines of symmetry. So I got one, two, three, five, six, seven. And this one, I'm back to my spot. So there's seven lines of symmetry just in that shape alone. Okay. Now here, kaleidoscope. State whether the object appears to have line symmetry, yes or no. If so, draw all lines of symmetry and state their number. Now, look, if you look at the picture, I could, I could move it around. I could do whatever I want. There is no line I could draw anywhere that could pick this up, fold it in half, and have it match up exactly. Okay, the outer shape, yes, it's a circle, but the inner, sha the inner shapes here make it so it is impossible to have symmetry. So, I'll state where the figure appears to have line symmetry, right, yes or no, if, if so, right, state their number. So, I could draw a line here, I could draw a line here, I could draw a line here. So, that's going to be yes by three lines. So, I'm looking at all the different possibilities here I could go by. So, use a figure and give a line of reflection, draw the reflected image. So, it doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, be a little bit artistic here. Try and do the best you can. So, I want to try and match up there, there. So, there would be L, J, K. So, that would be my new, that would be my new shape. Back in the old days, you could do it with a compass and a straight edge. And it actually be very, very exact, which is kind of cool when it works out. So here, X is going to stay there. So you're going to go here for Z, a little bit for Y. And there you go. So state whether what kind of lines we got here. Well, I could draw a line here, but I think that's as far as I'm going to get. So that's going to be yes. Here, draw all reflections on the symmetry. I'm going to go one right there. That's all I got. All right. Thank you for listening. Uh, there's only two more sections to go, and then you take a short quiz, and that's the unit. Um, come talk to me with questions, and we'll see you soon.